look at the John chapter 5, verse 31 to 47. Book of John chapter 5, verse 31 to 47. If I testify about myself, my testimony is not valid. There is another who testified in my favor, and I know that his testimony about me is invalid. You have sent to John, and he has testified to the truth. Not that I accept the human testimony, but I mention it, with, it that uh, you may be saved. John was a lamp that the burning burned, they give light, and then you choose for a time to enjoy his light. I have testimony way height than of John. For very work that Father has given me to finish, and which I am doing, testify that the Father has sent me. The Father who sent me has himself testified concerning me. You have never heard his voice nor seen his form, nor does his word dwell in you, for you do not believe the one he sent. You diligently study the scriptures because you think that by them you possess eternal life. These are the scriptures that testify about me. Yet you refuse to come to me to have life. I do not accept the praise from men, but I know you. I know that you do not have the love of God in your heart. I have come in my Father's name and do not accept me, but if someone else comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe if you accept the praise from one, on one another, yet make no effort to obtain the praise that comes from the only God? But do not think I will accuse you before the Father. Your ancestor is Moses, on whom your hopes are set. If you believed Moses, you would believe in me, for he write about me. But since you do not believe what he wrote, how are you doing? How are you going to believe what I say? This morning I will share with you according to John chapter 5, verse 31 to 47. Yeah, you do not have the love of God in your heart. This is the title this morning. Look at verse 31 to 33. You know, Jesus testified about himself. But people don't, don't, they don't believe. It's not valid. But uh, when uh, John, uh, uh, John the Baptist, uh, he speak about the Jesus, his testimony about the Jesus is valid. People believe what, what John the Baptist say. You know, when John the Baptist say about the Jesus, they should believe Jesus. When the Moses say about the Jesus, they should believe the Jesus. Is that is is nonsense, isn't it? <laughs> they believe the John the Baptist, they believe the Moses, but they don't believe in Jesus. You know, they are the one to prepare the way of God. In Old Testament is a shadow of Messiah. Moses he written the five books. All the prophets speak about the Messiah. But they speak about the all our, our Messiah Jesus, but still people they don't believe. If you look at the verse uh, 34, whoever heard my message, my word, and then may be saved. Yeah? Only through his word. Through his word we can receive the salvation by his word. And John, verse 35, John the Baptist. John the Baptist, uh, you know, he, he was light yeah? for a while. Yeah? But Jesus the light forever and ever. This is a problem. People recognize that John the Baptist is light for a while. They enjoy his light. But people, they don't enjoy the uh, light of Jesus. They don't enjoy the light of the world, who is Yeshua HaMashiach, Lord Jesus Christ. You can enjoy Jesus, enjoy uh, you know, light of Jesus forever and more. If you open your heart and then receive Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. Verse 36 say, Jesus say, I'm more greater than, 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 than Apostle John. But people, they don't believe. This is the main problem. 
you know, verse 37 to 38, Jesus speaks about the word of God. You don't have the word of God, verse 38 to 30, 37 and 38. Yeah? You don't have the word of God. That is why you don't believe in God. If you have the word of God inside of you, you can believe in God. Jesus preaching and teaching, but people, they don't have the word of God. I think it's um, Jesus uh, preaching and teaching and healing. He using his mouth. The word of God come out from his mouth. But unfortunately, people reject the word of God. Some people receive the word of God. And then whoever received the word of God in their heart, their faith is grown. So important to keep the word of God inside of our heart. You know, I just preaching every morning and evening. But anybody open your heart and receive the word of God, you will be prosper. You will be blessed. The yeah, word of God is very, very important inside your heart. You have that is why book of book of Colossians chapter three. Colossians chapter 3, verse uh, 16. After this letter, sorry, Colossians 3, 16 say, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as you teaching and admonish one another with all wisdom, as you sing psalms, hymns, spiritual songs, with gratitude in your heart to God. Yeah? Do you have the word of God yeah, in your heart? That is what, let the word of God, let the word of Christ dwell in you, literally. Yeah. Actually, I examine my heart. Do I have the word of God in my heart or not? It's so important. Check your heart. Do you have the word of God? Yeah. I think one of the terrible curse in this world, the people, they don't have the word of God in their heart. That is one of the terrible curse. Let the word of Christ dwell in you, literally. And then in any situation, let the word of God look, you know, control your mind in your heart, the word of God. Yeah. In any circumstance, you know, what kind of blessing you have if you have the word of God in your heart, literally. You know, if you have some strange situation, instead of you thinking by your own, your tongue, your, your thing, the word of God rules your heart, your mind. That is is most blessing. That is why let the word of Christ dwell in you literally. Yeah. Did I meditate the word of God and um, is uh, sometimes memory the scripture? And uh, you know another scripture say if you even you and you learn you can meditate the word of God. When I was driving I meditate the word of God. I, of course, I turn on the audio Bible and uh, meditate the word of God. You can have the word of God inside of you. Yeah. Actually, uh, 1 John chapter 1 verse 10 say about the word of God. If you say, I don't have a sin, and you don't have the word of God inside of your heart, that is a terrible curse. 1 John chapter 1 verse 10. If you claim you have not sinned, we make him out to be a liar. God is no liar. And then another one is most important. 1 John chapter 1 verse 10, last sentence. His word has no place in our lives. <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> Which means if you repent your sins, yeah, his word will dwell inside of you. But if you don't repent your sins, his word has no place in our lives. Yes, so important. Let his word dwell inside of your life. Literally. And let's go back to John chapter 5, verse 4, 39 to 41. If you come to Jesus, you have eternal life. If you don't, you never come to Jesus. Come to the Word of God. And verse 42 is the most important scripture, John 5. I know you. I know that you do not have the love of God in your heart. Do you know why people don't come to Jesus? Why people don't receive the Word of God? Because in their heart, they don't have the love of God. Yeah, You do not have the love of God in your heart. This is the main problem. Yeah. If you love, if you, if you, if you do love, if you love Jesus, if you love God, you all already open your heart and receive the word. Already you believe in the Jesus if you love God truly. 
I know somebody truly, truly love God, their life change. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 17 saying like this, I love those who love me, and those who seek me, find me. You know, many scriptures say God loved us first, we know that. But also many scriptures say love God. <laughs> Do you understand? This is a commandment. Love your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength. Do you understand? Don't wait. This is a commandment. Love God. Love God. Ten commandments. You know, there's ten commandments, but make it two commandments. What? By, by, by Jesus. He said, love God. Love God and love your neighbor. Love God. Love your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength. That is what this scripture, I love God. I is God. God said, I love those who love me. If you love God, he said, I love you. Those who seek God and find God. Yeah. Therefore, you know, Jesus said very clearly, you do not have the love of God in your heart. That is why you don't listen to me. Yeah. Jesus saying, Book of John saying, if you love me, you should obey what I command you. Yeah. John chapter 14 verse 15. If you love me, you will obey what I command. Why you don't you don't obey? Because you don't love God. If you love God, you obey God. If you don't love God, you never obey God. This is what Jesus said. If you love me, you should obey. You obey what I command. Jesus saying very clearly, people that reject the word of God, not welcome me, not receive the eternal life because they do not have the love of God in their heart. So simple. So simple. Do you know God used the Moses prophet speak about uh, Jesus? But people they don't believe. You know, especially Jewish people, they don't believe Jesus. And um, even you know, we pray to God, Lord, forgive us. You know, Old Testament speak about Jesus. Lord, help us. Because we don't love God. Yeah. I think you can examine your heart how much you love God. Do you love God? Do you love God with all your heart? More than anything? Jesus say, if you if you don't hate your father and your mother, your children, your wife and husband, you never be my disciples. It's very strange. You say love your neighbor, but how can you hate your family? But do you know what this meaning? Love God more than anything. Love Jesus more than anything. Love Jesus. Yeah. If you love Jesus with all your heart, everything in your in this world is a second. Love Jesus. Love Jesus. You know, our sin is uh, we don't have the love of Jesus. We don't have the love of God in our heart. Love God with all your heart. If you have a you know, relationship with God, proper relationship, deeper relationship with God, you can love your neighbor automatically, easily. Old Testament speak the love of God. New Testament speak the love of God. Even now, you know, speak the love of God. If you have the love of God toward Jesus, you have the great victory. Yeah? Please. Love the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Love Jesus, and then you can have a great victory in this world. Unfortunately, we don't have love. You can ask God, Lord, sorry, help me to love you. Help me, Lord. I don't have love for you. Can you help me uh, to love you with all my heart, with all my mind? With all my strength. Yeah. Do you have a good relationship with the Father in heaven? A wonderful, lovely relationship. And then, yeah, uh, you, you'll be blessed. Yeah. Love Jesus. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for this time. We, we, we love you, Jesus. We love you. But unfortunately, God requires uh, love God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength. We are so sorry. We repent our sins. 
because we didn't love God with wholeheartedly forgive us. From today, we love Jesus with wholeheartedly. Father, we love Jesus more than anything. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Have a wonderful morning and a wonderful day today. Be blessed. Bye now.